As far as you're concerned, you're not in the band because of Stevie. That was what I was told by Irving, that she gave them an ultimatum. Either mm -hmm. Lindsay goes or I go. Yeah. And it would be like something as absurd as Mick Jagger saying, either Keith goes or I go. You know, I, well, I guess we need the singer. Yeah. You know, so. Do you have any knowledge of how the decision process went down with the band? None. Really? No. I mean, I would love to, I, I did reach out. I even wanted to go over to Hawaii to see Mick or because Stevie was vacationing over in Maui and wanted to go over there and sit with them and, and, and try to get through this. But there, were, the, uh, there was clearly some other agenda going on, you mm -hmm. know? So I, I don't know what that process was. Mm -hmm. Maybe never will. How would you describe your relationship with Stevie? And I know it's had a lot of different phases. Um, my relationship with Stevie is fragmented. Yeah. Um, I think there's still a lot of love there. But, you know, you have to begin with the fact that in order to get through those early days, it was kind of an exercise in compartmentalization for everyone emotionally. Yeah. And for me in particular, I mean, I was not the one doing the leaving. She left me. But uh, th there was never really any chance to get anything like closure because that takes a, perhaps some some distance. Mm -hmm. So you know, that's and so that that kind of you know is is how we got along. And I think you know you cut to twenty thirty years later, and that leads to a kind of a fragmented relationship. I think. You know, sometimes she might find it difficult that, that I was lucky enough to find my soulmate late in life and got married and had my first child when I was 48 mm -hmm. and have three beautiful children, and that was something she never did. You know, she basically is living her professional life, and mm -hmm. so maybe I, I don't know if that plays into it or not. Yeah. I, I honestly don't know. Sounds like you've asked yourself a lot of questions in the last year. Well, you know, you try to understand it, and beyond a certain point, you just have to accept it in, in a way this is just another blip on the radar, you know? Yeah. It's a pretty big blip, though. Pretty big blip, and um, again, as I say, I, I'm not particularly <clears throat> disappointed not to be out on the road doing another... Fleetwood Mac tour right now, doing all those hits. What I am disappointed in is that we built this beautiful legacy that was about rising above mm -hmm. all of this kind of stuff. I, I feel that that legacy in what the band is doing now is being somewhat dishonored, and that does bother me. Do you think there's any chance you could play with Fleetwood Mac again? Oh, sure. I mean, I, I, you know, again, I'm not assuming anything at all. But uh, nothing would make me happier than to, if we were going to do something like a farewell tour. So maybe they'll get this out of their system, and maybe they'll realize that this wasn't really the right thing. And, and if you're asking me, would, would I be open? Yes, of course. I would say, yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely.